Hi Vogue. Hello. Hi guys. Hey Vogue. Hi everyone. Hey, what's up Vogue? Hi Vogue. This is Gio. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tiana Taylor. I'm Jen. Jennifer Garner. I'm Mimi Kane. It's Lola Tung. It's Colette Kanza. I'm Eva Longoria. It's Julianne Moore. My name is Salem Mitchell. I'm Brie Larson. It's Amelia Gray. It's Usher. And this is my Ann. I'm gonna take you through, going to walk you through, walk you through my skincare routine, my very extensive skincare routine, my daily beauty slash skincare routine. My daily skin routine. I just wanted to come update you on my new routine and also share all my secrets with you. Firstly, always set the tone, have a candle of some sort with me. I love scented candles. They're everywhere, all over the house. This is gardenia. I'm gonna go with this cleansing balm. I love this Biologique. I use a little bit of African black soap. I'm a double cleanse kind of girl because I don't really get it all off in one go. So I have two cleansers. Cleansing. This is the Sarah Chapman Ultimate Cleanse. See the fill. I use the Advanced Snail Mucin Gel Cleanser. TikTok has like definitely put me on when it comes to this. Cleansing, be good. How long you that? So I literally dunk my face in ice. So here goes. And then I come up and then I go back inside. <sighs> okay. Next step, steamer. It opens up them pores and then it also allows the product to actually get in and do its work. Turn it on to the red for hot. It's fabulous. I'm gonna be glowing after this. And I never wear a robe while I do this, but I just thought it'd be weird if I was stood here naked. I'm starting with uh, this Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Toner from La Neige. Just a few drops. I try not to pull too much because I hear that it gives you wrinkles at an early age. A really good piece of skincare advice I've gotten from my mom is not to do too much makeup and too much skincare. My mom also has freckles and I think that that's helped me feel super confident in my own skin. I'm also gonna use these Shiseido Eye Patches. Which way are they supposed to go, world? Because I do them this way, but I have to be wrong. Eye masks, first thing that we, we always do, just to give the eyes a little plump. See, look at all these facialist words I'm using. I wear them in the car sometimes. <laughs> On flights, I always wear these. These are the hyaluronic cloud patches. These work. Not all of them work. These work. We're going to use an eye mask. Why? Because I'm hungover. These are really cool because they're like golden. Peter Thomas Roth eye mask. So they've been on for like a good four hours now. So I'm going to take these off. Everyone talks about how important eye cream is. So I go under I even go on top of my eye. I don't know if people do that, but I do. I love this eye cream. This is the Kiehl's. It's called Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. As far as I'm concerned, this is just pure avocado. I have this amazing eye cream from Hourglass. It soaks right into your skin. So I use this in the daytime and especially at night. I use a lot of it. Next, I'm going to use REM Beauty Under Eye Cooling Balm. This is one of my favorite products we have. This has like my favorite texture in the world. It's super cool and plumping. So it fills out any little fine lines and creates like such a smooth base for your makeup. Serum, love a serum. If I don't have moisturizer, I still feel really good putting some of this intense hydrating booster from Sarah Chapman. Next, I use the Westman Atelier. When I get those dry spots and it's hard for makeup to sit on top of it, this just saves the day. This is called Elasticine, and you put this wherever you have fine lines because it encourages collagen growth. BioCell Oxygen Serum. Purple and Prosper Calm Complexion Serum. Growing up, I don't remember any black-owned skin products around our household. 
And I feel like now it's more available. It's out there. It's skin products that actually understand what's going on. We're gonna use Givenchy Vitamin Blend Glow Serum. Some people use just one pump. I'm extra, I always put two. I use these Nurse Jamie Globes. I go like this. Oh, it feels so nice. So I got these from 111 Skin. I put them in the fridge every morning. I use it to help with drainage, like lymphatic drainage and like deep puffing. The big silver balls. I always have mine in the freezer. When I'm in a hotel, I get a bucket of ice and roll them around a little bit. Once they get working, they can just take some of that swelling out of your face. Out of all the things that I use, I see the most uh, effect out of these. I think with men, we're always, we're getting better at it, but everyone's like always kind of against the skincare thing. For some reason, I don't really know why. It's like, is, do we give up some of our masculinity if we admit to using moisturizer? We need our skin too, lads. I use my face to buy machine to depuff my skin. So I like to like get in here to kind of contour my cheekbones. You wanna to go towards your lymphatic glands to get all this like liquid and water and puffing out of your face. Get it out. I love taking care of my skin. I like the way it feels. I feel like I'm pampering myself every day in my bathroom. I also go underneath my eyes with this, which is great because if you're feeling puffy, kind of moves the fluid around and it feels really good. And this is something that I like to do when I'm in the makeup chair before I'm working in the morning. So maybe while somebody's putting my wig on or doing my hair, I'll do this. There are body for my face and I use the red light. Red light is really good for like the rejuvenation of your cells and fine lines because this is not 22 anymore. I put this on and then I put a 10 minute meditation or manifestation. This is my favorite sunscreen. Shout out to Black Girl Sunscreen. So I would go in with sunscreen, very important. I like to go in with a smiley face. You always have to do sunscreen, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, but you, you must. You gotta layer that SPF on. Nothing looks better in your 50s than sunscreen in your 20s, ladies. You heard it here first. A lot of us in the black community have not been thinking about, or it's just not been marketed for us. We thought that we didn't need sunscreen and then yet here we are with elevated skin cancer rates. So remember to put on your sunscreen. I just want to put on a little bit. And I protect a lot of the skin of the face soy blanquita, entonces, bueno, y aparte la tengo como sensible y delicada, se me puede quemar muy rápido. Y luego eso, las arrugas, las manchas, eh, también la salud de la piel, todos esos temas me, me importan y sobre todo en la cara. I love the super goop, I'm seeing the sunscreen. Some SPF. Growing up in Florida, I spent a lot of time in the sun. I think that's probably where some of my discoloration and my freckles and everything comes from. Moisturizer! I'm really excited for the reveal of this. It's blue, people! This is pretty heavy, hence why it's in such a small jar, because you don't need very much. I'm gonna do like two pumps of my moisturizer. Dr. Stone for darker skin tones. Even when I tried to approach doing a skincare routine in my 20s, like I didn't see specific products for black people. This immediately appealed to me. There's a Kodali product that I really do like. It is a, a beauty elixir. I'm gonna go on with my mist. You need to act right. Don't show up in front of company. I'm a big lip balm guy, I'm using this one at the moment. This is also Fenty Skin. It's the blush budding. This is the Hydra Beauty Chanel Road. This one is 
the salted caramel, lip balm, and this is Carl Mix. And to be honest, it's like the only thing that really works for me. My lip scrub, of course. Ilia lip balm. It has this like cooling effect. Lemire lip balm is very, 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 very precious. So don't use a lot of it, but I take like a little, like just a little bit on my thumb there. This is a Jack Black lip balm. This is uh, an intense therapy for your lips. It's really, really good. I use this throughout the day. I keep it on me. Nobody likes dry lips, right? So this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being with me today. This was a lot of fun. Thank y'all. And I'm just sending everyone so much love. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Anya. Bye. Thank you. This is President Barbie signing out. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks everyone. And also you're welcome. <laughs>